The men to talk about right now in the world of ACHA Men's Division I Hockey League are the Blue Streaks of John Carroll University. Streaks took home the championship title in the CHMA playoffs. They finished off the season strong with a five-game win streak and then defeating the Pitt Panthers in a 4-2 championship victory, making that a six-game win streak. Although this team of dedicated and inspired individuals were ecstatic about the hardware and title they were bringing back to JCU, they had to make room next to their other championship title. The John Carroll men's hockey team has won the CHMA playoffs for two years in a row, but there is always room for a third trophy. This year, the captains of the team were Brady Wells, Bo Rosbach, and Anthony Pontello. Luckily for the Blue Streaks, these three will all be returning next year as seniors. However, there gets to that point where other students' time at John Carroll is up, meaning their hockey career is as well. These underclassmen have to put forth their efforts and lead the team after these seniors depart. Dedicated is an understatement when it comes to this year's seniors on the team. Uh, I feel really positive about it. I know um, we have a coaching change, so that's going to be something that we're going to have to like Work, work, work with the new coach. Not, we don't really know who it is yet. Um, having new recruits uh, is definitely something to be thinking about. Uh, but in general, I think that our core of our players are still here. Um, losing some good, strong guys, which is going to hurt us. However, I still think that we're going to be able to be competitive and uh, go forward from there, basically. Oh, I feel uh, very strong. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about the guys we're losing, but we are losing some key components. Um, but I'm excited to get some new guys in here and you know see what they can do and I'm sure we'll be able to put together a nice season. We are losing a lot of key pieces for next season including our coach and some players so it's definitely going to be a bit of a rebuilding year but I think we have a lot of key pieces also coming back and uh, it looks like we're going to have a good shot at a three-peat. Um, I feel very strongly about our team. I think that we have a lot of confidence and experience because of the past two years winning championships. Um, and also I think that we have, uh, we're losing a lot of guys, but we also still have the experience that's going to be there with uh, the seniors and juniors. The JCU men's hockey team is more than a team. They are a family. Individually, they each bring something to the team, but when all these talents come together is when the team really succeeds. I think the, the greatest thing to um, giving ourselves a chance of having a three-peat next season would be the leadership that we have coming back and a lot of the guys that we have coming back have played integral parts of this team. So it's going to be those guys um, leading the, the underclassmen and helping them uh, identify a way to meet team objectives. I think just the team itself, honestly, uh, we, we come together pretty well. We're all friends on the team. There's not really a guy, a specific guy that's marginalized or anything like that. So we're all really good friends. And then obviously last year, um, Chuck Diner played really well on that. We had a nice kind of two goalie tandem with him and Wes and our leading scorer, Ivan Kruger, he's lights out in the offensive zone. So I think those between the team and then having a few key guys who you know you can count on every night really helps. Um, I'd say the main assets are just the positivity that's in the locker room and on the bench. Uh, it's just a, it's a big family when it comes to uh, the guys on the team. So I just think that that makes us play a lot better, more confident, and more comfortable. I really feel like our team, like the bond we have, I know in previous years, uh, my, my freshman year and before that, um, I know some of the older guys have talked about how there's big segmentation in the teams, and how like some groups would stay here and some groups would go there, and they wouldn't really be together. But I feel like our team is kind of like a family in a sense, where we do a, a lot of th stuff together, and uh, very friendly with each other, and, Everything like that. I think that's a really big asset for us. It helps us kind of push through when things get tough. And uh, like in the playoffs this season, we actually came back uh, from being down every game. So that just kind of keep us as a core and push forward. Your fans come out.
each of the players contributed to the championship win this year. The efforts put into the season this year paid off for the Blue Streaks. If it wasn't for the brotherhood amongst the team, the year may not have ended with them being the champions. Well, I think we peaked at the right time. We, you know, we went through a skid earlier in the year and we kind of didn't know what was going on. We had a little injury spell in the second semester, but then everyone got healthy and we really kind of got things firing on all cylinders. So by the end of the year, we really peaked at the right time and put the puck in the net. I think the thing that made us champions this year was that we worked hard together. Um, it wasn't anybody doing it by themselves or anything. It was a team effort and we just did it all together. And we loved one another and it was just a good time playing with my friends. Uh, yeah, so definitely I think being able to persevere, coming back from down every game in the playoffs is something that's really huge. And having every person on our team have a role in something that they do well and they do every game, and that in general really helps us uh, beat teams uh, in the play for sure, like we did in the playoffs and stuff like that. I think we were a big family, and I think that's really what uh, separated us from a lot of the other schools is that. Our hockey team, we're always together. We're always hanging out. We're always having a good time. So um, just the fact that we were out there with our brothers, I think that, that really helped us. Each person has different strengths and different weaknesses. A new year is a new chance for the returning players to take their efforts to new heights. The stuff that happens inside the weight room and on the rink in the off season is what will pay off when next season comes and that just may be what will contribute to their chances of having a three-peat. Me personally, I want to be able to, I'm been kind of trying to be a leader on the team. I feel like I've done that throughout my last three years here. And for the, my senior year, I definitely want to be more of a leader and role model, like I have been. And I feel like I have been doing that. Uh, just kind of someone for people to look after, look, at, look up to, and just, uh, or look down on, you know, from a little shorter guy on the team. but. Uh, in general, just being able to someone that can work hard and make people want to do the same and follow in a sense. Yeah, I've been uh, hitting the weight room a lot, trying to get a little stronger, a little faster, just to give myself any competitive advantage over over the uh, opponents. It's always it's always good to have that. Um, personally, I mean, I'll, this summer I'll be playing like men's league. I'll be skating in the summer a few times a week, so that that's something I'll be doing physically to get keep my game going um, and then aside from that just making sure next year we come and everybody's ready to go you know the younger guys aren't nervous they're they're feeling confident about their abilities and know that they're there for a reason so just those two things basically just to make sure we're ready to go for next year uh, personally I'm playing a lot of Fortnite uh, hoping the uh, hand die and reaction reaction time better so I'm up to 52 solo wins it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing this year. Should the Blue Streaks leave a spot open for another trophy next year? Uh, yeah, I'd say a 3 p is definitely possible. Um, we're a good group of guys that's going to come in and work hard. Uh, we're not going to think anybody's going to give it to us, but we're going to have to go get it. And I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, definitely. Um, I don't think necessarily uh, myself or anyone will be going into the season saying, hey, like let's win a third championship, but it definitely helps that we've won the last two and we, we know what it feels like as opposed to, you know, the rest of our league hasn't won since I was a freshman. So it'll definitely be nice having that experience in our back pocket. But like I said, I don't think I will really be saying, oh, we're going to win again because things will just fall into place and as long as you do the little things along the way, the, the big thing of the championship will just kind of come, so. Absolutely, there's not a doubt in my mind that uh, we will have a three-peat next season. Uh, I don't think there's anything in our way except ourselves. I would say 100% possible, uh, based on the, what I've told you prior and how I really feel like our team is gonna be a tight family bond and with these new recruits we're gonna be coming in and stuff like that. Uh, especially with the confidence that some of our guys have now gained throughout the last couple of years and then the uh, freshman last year who were able to actually experience a win. That feeling of actually winning is something that, you know, people don't experience very often. I think that feeling alone uh, gives people to want to do it again in a sense.